The inner circle continued to take the grieving witch Naomi toward the burial and slaughter site of her beloved family. The stench was unbearable. An insect covered the ground. Release me. Don't come any closer. I'll walk from here. Naomi stood on her own strength, but with each step she grew weaker and weaker until she fell. Wanting to be on the mound, she crawled. The insect started to crawl onto her hands, then her arms and legs. Once she was on top of the mound, she gave a warning to the inner circle. Leave now. When I return, you won't have much time to escape my wrath. One member of the inner circle hesitated while the others immediately dispersed. Just like Lot's wife, who did not heed instruction, neither did he. He inquisitively watched as Naomi laid down and as the insects overtook her body. She yelled in pain. The sound was so loud and penetrating that the man's ears began to bleed. As Naomi laid there, she began to relive the pain her family endured and she made sure the man from the inner circle felt it too. Branches beat him, causing his bones to break. Stones floated up from the ground and pelted him, making him feel the hundreds of hands that punched at her family. Two spotted hyenas appeared. They laughed and laughed. They slowly approached. He was seriously injured and unable to move. He was an easy prey for them. They laughed and bit. They laughed and tore. And they laughed and gouged. Still alive as they tore at his flesh, he experienced unmeasurable pain. He watched himself being torn apart and was hopelessly unable to move. The hyena's final bites were to his face and his cheeks. I give myself in love and will return with an aversion and thirst that will never be quenched. The mound engulfed and absorbed Naomi's living body. Naomi awoke to complete darkness. Heavy wet soil was pressed against every part of her. No direct rain was on top of her, but she felt moisture move across her face and her hands. She began to become anxious. There was little, almost no air. She screamed, but soil entered her mouth. Her eyes burned from the natural salts in the ground. She calmed herself when she heard a voice. The voice was none other than her loving husband. Come forth, come forth my love, we have work to do. Unimaginable power overtook Naomi. Release me, release me! The ground burst upward toward the sky. Naomi began to slowly stand. The rain came down heavily. It began to wash away the soil. Naomi looked around to find her husband. She looked beautiful. Her appearance had changed. Her eyes were different. They were a very engaging, glowing brown hue. Where are you, love? We will never be apart again. A beautiful black panther gently walked toward her. His yellow-brown eyes stared deeply into hers. The panther then sat back on his hind legs and transformed into Naomi's beautiful husband. He never took his eyes off of Naomi. He raised himself from his knees and stood naked in front of Naomi and then walked toward her. All of the love Naomi had for him was still there. She extended her arms, gesturing a sentimental, desperately desired and affectionate embrace toward him. Not until he saw this final display did he know with certainty Naomi accepted him and it was okay for him to proceed. No words were spoken. Naomi held his naked body in the rain for what felt like an eternity. You will never know death or loss again. We will be together for eternity.